How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 15 in my QBasic tutorial series and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the do loop. Now a few tutorials back I showed you guys how to use the while loop. This is another type of loop but it's slightly different. Now if I open up the while loop here, um, I'm going to open up the program we made for the while loop example. Uh, where are you? Let me just find it. Oh, there it is. So here's the while loop example. So the while loop has some condition. Um, if the condition is met, it goes through. And right here is where our while loop ends. If the condition is still true, it's going to loop through and do this block of code again. And it's going to keep doing that until this condition is not true. Major difference is that the condition has to be true for this loop to execute even once. Well, I'm going to create a new file here. And we're going to save this as do loop dot BAS. Now, how the do loop differs, the do loop executes one time regardless, then there's the condition to determine whether it's going to loop again or not. So, let's dive into this. To start a do loop, we just type out in all capital letters do. Now, there's no condition here, so we drop down to the next line put a tab and this is going to be our block. So this is going to be what loops and what we are going to do is go over the two different types of loops. So we're going to do and we're going to ask the user for input um, and we're going to say type y. Alright, and then what we're going to do, oh, first got to store this in a variable. We're going to call this one uh, answer and put a dollar sign to show that a string is going to be saved in there. Now what we want to do, it's going to keep looping this until the user types Y. So at the bottom of, after our statement block here, we're going to put loop, all capitals, and we're going to say loop until. So we want to keep looping this do loop until some condition is met. The condition we want to be met is answer dollar sign equals y. So let's run this program. Type y. Let's just type h. Type y. Uh, t. You know, type a number. Now I'm going to type Y, and our program ends. So what happened here, regardless, the do loop um, executes at least once, this statement block in here. It's at the bottom of our do loop that we have a condition determining whether or not it loops again. So this do loop is going to keep looping until our condition is met, which is the user types in the letter Y. Now there's another type of do loop we can uh, implement. So I'm actually, uh, yeah, I'll put it underneath. So there's another do loop we can enter implement. Starts the same by typing in do in all capitals. But in this case, at the bottom, it's going to loop while some condition is true. So. In this case, it's going to loop um, until some condition is no longer met. So let's just say, uh, let's start um, by creating a new variable. Oops. So we're going to create a new variable called play again. And we're going to set it equal to 1, which is going to be our value for true. 0 is going to be our value for false. So we're going to say loop while play again equals 1. So we're going to ask our user for input once again. Uh, do you want to play again? And we're going to save this one in a variable called answer to dollar sign. 
and now we're gonna have an if statement so if uh, answer answer two so our answer two dollar sign equals y then we want to keep play again um, as one so we don't even have to put this in here I'm just doing it uh, just because I want to I guess else we are going to set play again equal to zero so and if now actually the better way of doing this that's just kind of a basic way of implementing it but it's a really bad way especially for a computer scientist so instead of saying if answer equals y we're gonna say if answer does not equal y I don't even know why I did that in the first place but yeah so we put in open close um, greater than less than sign just to say does not equal that and all we gotta do now is end off our end if statement so and if so we're asking the user for input here do they want to play again if they type in y then um, we're gonna keep playing but if the answer is not y it's gonna be set to zero and this thing is no longer in a loop so let's run this I don't know why uh, so we're just gonna type y to begin with do you want to play again yes do you want to play again yes yes some random gibberish and our program ends because the loop doesn't loop again our condition is no longer met so the loop ends so that's all I got for you guys this time remember to comment on this video like this video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one